So hey everybody, we're here in Gulf Shores and we're starting to get ready to pack up to go home tomorrow. <laughs> several, several months ago, uh, we had bought a kayak rack and bike rack for the back of our RV. And I showed y'all how to put it together. And at the end of the video, I said, well, one day I would do a video of how we put things on the rack. Um, so since we're about to pack up, I thought I'd take some time and do that. I know they have a video on rvkayakracks.com, but they also do this a lot and we don't. So we do things a little bit different, but I thought I'd take some time and show you how I do. So let's get started. So to start out, I've already got my kayaks laid out and the bike sitting beside it. To show you a little bit about the rack here, I have already got some of the straps up here that they send with the kayaks. Now to remind you, you send them dimensions for your rack. You send them what kayaks you have and they tell you basically um, how to put your kayak on here, whether the bow goes up, the bow goes down. Um, now we bought a new kayak after that and I had to decide which way was better. Uh, and on it, I do the bow down because, uh, or actually I do the stern down because the bow stuck off the, the end of the guard a little bit and I didn't like it. But again, they send this strap. This is my own strap for extra uh, stability or extra comfort, peace of mind. Uh, I put that up there or I put their strap up here to begin with because it makes it easier for me to get the kayak to stay up there once I get it up there. In their video, they put the first kayak up and then both bikes and then the last kayak. I don't like to do that. Uh, I like to put my kayaks on first because the bicycle handles get in the way if you're trying to do this by yourself. Um, and again, I don't do this as much as they do, so um, it's a little harder for me to get my kayaks up there. I'm gonna let Cecilia do some filming now and we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to attach cable they send you to whichever end of your kayak is going to go at the top because if you forget this get your kayak up there you have to take it back down to put it on there anyway, they tell you also in their video you don't want to attach this to a strap that's nylon because it can wear through i put some hardware on mine to make it easier to attach and not to have to attach directly to a strap so i'm gonna attach my cable to the where i'm gonna uh, to the top of my kayak and then I'm going to position my kayak to where I can lift it up and put it on the rack. Now the way they do it in the video they lift it up and set it straight down on this rack. I don't like to do that because I'm not strong enough and that long kayak gets in the way. The way I like to do it is I like to get my kayak I like to get my kayak set it up on the top of the rack there and then I'll tilt it over in the rack, push it up, grab that strap I left up there, and attach it here. Again, mine's already adjusted for the length I need it. So that kayak's up there. Now, take the bottom strap, wrap it around, attach it there. That kayak's in place. I do make another recommendation. They recommend tying the bottom of the kayak to this here to help keep it from bouncing around. So I've got another bungee cord that I attach at the bottom. that I tried to attach at the bottom anyway. There. To keep that from bouncing around. And then they take the cable that they provided. They take that cable, they wrap it around this bar to get it tight. They go back up to the cable and they lock it to the cable. That helps secure it from being stolen and it helps keep the top of the kayak pulled down to keep it from bouncing. 
Now again, one thing I like to do is put an extra, extra strap on here. So I've got this strap here. I'll go around the bar in the back. Now did that come with the kayak? No, this did not come with a kayak. This is one I bought to just, just add a little extra level of security in my mind. I run it through my handles because it's about the right height. He's overly um, cautious, I guess. Yeah, overly cautious. I'd rather be a little overly cautious and watch it bounce down the road. Uh, so I'll strap this on. Can you do that for both kayaks? I will do it for both kayaks. We'll fast forward through the second kayak. Talk a little bit about it. I'll pull that tight. Another thing I'll do with this other end, since I've got an extra length, is I will actually run it down. Let me show this back here. I run it down and tie around that bottom bungee to pull it up just a little bit because on my other kayak, that bungee cord likes to slip down and this, in my mind, helps keep it from slipping down. Plus it takes the extra uh, part of my strap up so it doesn't flop around in the wind. So that kayak is on there. So we'll put the second kayak on. I won't talk as much about it so we can fast forward through it and then get to the bikes. Get back over here, actually over here. that's the same regardless, right? Yeah, all this is going to be basically the same as what we just did, except the other side. The one thing I do different on this side, instead of using a bungee cord to tie the bottom of the rack, I use a or a piece of rope I've already got. I wrap it around that bar a few times. Click it back on here to help secure that. I've already secured the bottom. I've already secured the top. Then it's strapped on. Again, this is the side I have trouble with the bottom bungee slides down off the kayak. So I just tie it up where it won't slip down. That kayak is now secure. That kayak took me about with, without me talking a whole lot it took me a couple minutes is all it took to put on it. now we're gonna put the bikes on here again I put uh, Cecilia's bike on the right right because it's a little taller I've got my hook up here at the top and what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna take the front tire I'm gonna take the back tire put it down in that track I'm gonna hook the front tire there that bike is being held for me now no hands I'm gonna reach through. These are Velcro straps. We'll pull that front tire up in there. And I'm gonna strap that tire on. There's two more straps. There's one here on the back, on the tire at the bottom, and then, or the back here, and the one at the very bottom there. We're gonna strap those on. So see, his bike is now secure. So now I'm gonna put my bike on here. It's the same thing. Back tire in the track. Front tire hooked onto the hook up there. The bike is being held by itself. 
Now the only difference here, you see the hook there. The only difference here, being me, is hard for me to get to that back strap. So I squeeze behind the kayaks and the rack here. And then I pull that tire up. And strap it in place. While I'm back here, I'll go ahead and do the bottom tire. I'll come back around. And then I'll strap the one at the bottom. Two more things I do on the bikes. One of these they recommend. They don't provide any more cables or cords for you, but they do recommend tying the two bikes together at the front. It will help keep them from bouncing around so much. So I have a little bungee cord to do that with. And that just helps keep those from shaking as much. The other thing I do to the bikes, I put a cable lock on those. I run it around through the bikes. Go around back and lock it on there. Now is that for stability this is, or for security? This is for security so that nobody can steal my bikes. That's all that's for. It has nothing to do with Stealing. bouncing down the road. That is just to keep somebody from stealing my bikes when I'm parked. So that's all I do to my bikes. The last thing to do here is to put the bar across the back. That's supposed to give some stability and security. It has a lock on it here. This is a yes. This lock came with it. It's a different style lock. You can see that it's got some spacers on there. Same key. Lifts up. It latches on this side. Locks in. And then there's a piece of chain here to help lock that in place. And we're done. So we've been rolling like this for about four months now. Yep. Hadn't had a problem. A lot of people have seen this. A lot of people like it. Like we've had people come to campsites and take pictures of it because they wanted to perhaps make it get in one. We like it so far. Like it so far. It's done what we need it. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging with the Harris's and hope you got something out of this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.